Hello viewers, today I am going to be teaching you how to discharge and take the yoke off and scrap a CRT TV. This is an Apex, that's the brand name and I'll show you the date on the back. Maybe it has no date. It says Apex. I don't know when this unit was manufactured but this thing is huge. So what we're gonna be doing is, I already said it, we're gonna take the electron gun and everything else out of the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a big, a nice close look of how big that yoke is. And you got the flyback transformer back there. You can see there's some nasty capacitors sitting and chilling in there. And so we are going to start now. So what you would need to be doing this is these are optional, they're safety glasses. These are actually to protect your eyes just in case when you go to um, bust a vacuum out, just, you know, so it don't explode or it just helps protect your eyes. A hammer, a piece of rebar, this is a quarter inch, and then a Phillips screwdriver, or any other screwdriver. The first step, take the back off the unit. And then our second step is to take a screwdriver and discharge this. I already did it, but I will be showing you how to do it. Just set the camera up get down there and show you all how to do it this might take a second there we go so there's your CRT so I'm going to be putting the safety glasses on and doing this you could use a discharger oh, the gloves are optional these are rubber coated at the front but rubber gloves are optional too so the first thing you want to do is this unit is already discharged you want to stick a screwdriver or a discharger inside the cap and you know feel around both of those electrodes and if you hear a pop then that's good that means you discharge it if you don't then you should be safe and then you want to pry this off and you want to go ahead and double check them touch them both at the same time okay so once you're you're done discharging everything to make you feel more comfortable you could come along here and swipe along all of these electronics all of the boards but we're not going to be doing that because i already done all of this bring this closer All right, so what you really want to do now is right here is the anode hole where the anode cap sits. You want to take a screwdriver and have your safety glasses on. It's optional, but I recommend it, highly recommend it. You want to take your screwdriver and stick it in there, and you just want to hit tap the hammer a few hard times. And once you hear a, you, once you hear air, then that means you, you you're you hear that you hear that that means I broke the vacuum and air is rushing in the tube that's what you want to hear air is rushing in that hole. All right. Once that air stops, everything is perfectly safe. I do, I do kind of recommend you walking away from the unit when you do hear that air, just for safety. And you just want to make sure the air is completely out. Once you have done that step, 
You want to come to this yoke assembly and you want to pry off these with a hammer or a screwdriver. You just want to take them off because these actually help hold the electron gun on the unit. Sorry about that. There you go. We got one more back here. There you go. Now we got all four of these. There we go. Once all of those are off, I'm gonna take the oak and kind of twist it around. There's actually a screw right there we need to get. There's a screw around the neck with a hose clamp holding the yoke on the unit. You want to unscrew that, take that off, and there's a lot of parts on this unit that you can save. So we already got a screw, which nobody cares about, just a screw. Once that's done, you can know, you notice, if you notice the yoke is actually, there you go, done. The yoke is, it's cracked off. You want to take the top board off the yet neck um, yoke neck. Sorry about that. And then you want to take this screw out, which is the same thing. It's just a regular screw holding the yoke on there. And there you go, you got a little hose clamp with a screw, you can keep that. It's good to have. Okay, you're all done with the yoke assembly. You got your convergence rings, they're taken off. Everything is disconnected besides these wires. Now you just wanna nicely slide your yoke off just like that. And there you go. Look at all of that good, delicious copper sitting in there. Look at all of that copper. There's loads of copper. And I have actually never seen anything like this in my entire life. The neck connection to the main tube is, you see that, it's, it's square. Look at that, I never seen that before. You can see the electron gun. Everything is taken off and here's your yoke. Now we just gotta work on those boards right back there. Everything is just charged, and then we got to take this. This is just a ground charger. This is, there's copper wires in here with electrical tape wrapped around there, black tape, whatever you want to call it. And so let's go ahead and start on that part now. Let's go ahead and take all of our boards out. Now there is screws, but what I do when it comes to this part is to make it easier. Sometimes, this is a big unit, sometimes I kind of break it off without breaking any boards. You want to disconnect everything. That's where your audio connectors are. Here's actually the power cord. This is the power cord which leads into this board, which feeds the unit electric. That's boring. Here's what we're after, is all this, all this delicious stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screwdriver. And, you know, simply unscrew some of these boards off. You could use a drill, but I am using a screwdriver. You want to take these boards off and this to screw. This is, it. like I said, this is a huge unit. Most CRTs 
if they're not this big, then you won't have many screws. You'll just have a two little slips with the board slid in there like that. But unfortunately, this unit is a lot more difficult. And yeah, there's a lot more screws down in there. We're going to go ahead and... I didn't know there's going to be this many screws. I didn't bring my drill out here. Yes, this is the boring part. Just you know, taking each and every one of these screws out. Like that. Following along with. Wow. Got a lot. You can go ahead and skip this part of the video. Because I do not have a drill out here. And you all don't want to watch. Probably don't want to watch me. Taking screws out of this. Daggone thing. But yes, once you're done taking these boards off, you're done, really. Once you got the yoke assembly and the boards off, you're done with the, with the um, disassembly. Once you, these are speakers right here. These are some nice speakers in there. I just saw. Once you're done that, disconnect these. TV has been sitting in my basement for many years. It hasn't worked in many years. So I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna I gotta clear clear up some space. Because I have about 75 CRTs just in my workshop on my shelf. I got way too many. All of them work besides this one and this one. I can fit two more in this space. Bingo. Like that. Too simple. Anyway, we're done. We got we got everything done. There are screws at the bottom of the board, but I don't want to um, continue sitting here wasting my day and you're all's time with me taking the screws out but yes most crts do not have screws holding the boards in i already got half of them off but i just realized there's one two three four five six we got four six twelve over here we got 12 total and so once you're done all of this just take the screws out of the board if you have screws out the board will just lift up and these two boards right here will lift up and then you're done. You got your, that's a nice yoke actually, a really nice yoke. And then I like saving the speakers. So I will be taking the two screws out of these speaker holders right here. They kind of look like, this was a luxurious TV in the early, in the 1990s and, and early 2000s is these big old CRTs your speaker we got the speaker cover these kind of look like exhaust tips if you know what i'm saying i like saving screws just in case i do a restoration on a crt another water i like keeping speakers and screws and stuff like that just in case for restorations i just said that and i just said it again but yes i will be i am taking the speakers out And then once I'm done taking this speaker out, there we go. I'm going to keep, like I said, pretty much everything on here besides the, you know, yoke and copper. All right. 
more screws holding these speakers on. Damn, I should drill out. Sorry about that. You're done once you got this off, but I'm not doing that because there's too many screws. So now what you want to do, once you have everything off, the yoke is the biggest deal here. Once you got everything off,